Oh, yes! Here we go. Defensive team, Mike. They're just an awful defensive team. Oh. That looks like two. Always good to see Drew aggressive. We'll have to pick up more scoring slack with Derek White gone. Yama takes it. Knocks down a three. Shot waiting for a whistle that never came. Wemby right off the catch and knocks down his second three. Well, he's much more aggressive than when we saw him about a month ago. Throws it away. Time going at there, couldn't get it to go. Jones finds Vassal, he can't hit. Offensive board put back up and in off the glass by Wimby. Jones has got numbers here. Rebound taken off by Brown. But it's not a typical Popovich defensive team, that is for sure. On the outside, no. Rebound. McDermott hands it off. More fans said the same thing. <laughs> you know what? Uh, coaching, broadcasting might be better for you. <laughs> Made me popular in Michigan. <laughs> Ramil Robinson going the free throw line, right? Yeah, exactly. And, and not, you know, with all due respect from... Uh, Cambridge, uh, the Montier goes through a tough time now in Detroit, but he's having a very good career on the bench. Wemby open and knocks down the free throw jump. More, like, yeah, more Jokic in him than less Durant, right? Like, let the game hey, come to you. Let, you know, let your teammates come off and get back. Everybody keeping their really high and fast break points, but uh, Celtics transition defense is really good. Damn, can't hit there. Goes right to his hands. Out. But <laughs> the game, the game that you coach and the game you watch now, what's the biggest difference? Big guys out in the perimeter, kind of nothing revolving around in on the box. It's crazy. Well, I know he wasn't here very long. Will Hardy is not a good coach. He's an exceptional young coach. Tatum can hit. Wemby looking to go coast to coast and threw it away. That's he's capable of doing that, but again, there weren't a lot of bigs doing that when I came into the league, Mike. <laughs> Ten years ago, that would be a 98 to Oh, we used to say, oh look, it's an ABA score tonight. Now it's commonplace. And why? It's the three, obviously. So if you got guys that can knock down threes everywhere, like your offense is gonna be much better. You don't have to coach around playing downhill. A lot of people are playing downhill now. <laughs> Can you just briefly describe what Michael Jordan would be like without anybody at the rim? <laughs> Whoa! That was new. That was. I said, suggest that isn't easy to do. He just made it look easy. Tonight after Celtics post game live, tune in for Town Fair Tire BST with Felger and Holly. Shooting 77% of the rim, 47% three to 10 feet away, and 29% from 10 feet on out. You know, the Spurs were able to put together a situation where oh. they got Robinson and they got Duncan at the same time. That was Giannis's rookie year. It was. Brad Stevens' first year here. Yeah. And Giannis, I remember a, a very insightful comment by me. You asked me what I thought of him. Look at Wemby. And I said, yeah, he's pretty good. I, I think he's going to be a good player. You need to see it every day, but how much better of a shooter has Jalen Brown become year after year? I, I, I think Knight, now, see, that's just a bad play by Wemby. Um, yeah. Gives up the dribble. A trap right half foot.
but the putback is good for Luke Cornett. And then Brown comes away with the steal. Pocket pass to Brissett, he lays it up and in. He's got to finish that. Friday at a young man is number one in the league. He's got a half dozen. Davis has four. Porzingis has a couple and four tied with one. When they put it in, I said, yeah. we're going to see a lot of those this year. There have not been. There have been very few. Mr. Walsh, Jordan Walsh are the only two. Spurs have 10. Nice block by Cornette. Up ahead, Brissett right on the floor. That wasn't going to happen. <laughs> no. Ages 8 to 14, see official rules for details. Oh! He throws that one down. <laughs> Whoa! That was late first quarter, and I've not looked back since. In Charlotte. Barlow will miss the three, and unfortunately, what's a bit of a fitting end to what was a tough shooting night for the Spurs from downtown.